In this video, I will cover the difference between printing a final or completed work order or ticket versus printing a ticket to be completed by the technician by hand. So first off, when you are on the calendar, I'm going to hide my mobile for a minute. When you are on the calendar and you see anything in green, that is completed. When I open that work order and either hit email or print and it is completed, it will show me the start and end times, all the materials used, plus signatures collected, money collected. Here we go, here's all of our material. Go down to the second page. If I had selected or received uh, signatures, it would be there. Anything else? I don't have anything else. So that is a final or completed work order. Going back to the calendar and closing this down, something that hasn't been completed is blue. And when I open that and print, it shows me no notes, nothing in chemicals, I don't have any signatures. So this is a digital completed work order. It is not the same as pre-printing a ticket. So in order to pre-print your tickets, you have a few options. You can hit this printer icon. It will open up a print work order screen. You can select the technician you can select the dates to print, so we'll say today's date. I also will be able to dictate how many copies and if I would like to include any services that are scheduled in the work pool. And once I hit print, this will... Oh, I don't have any service tickets that need to be printed. Let's see, I'll open up my dates. So we'll do one more. Oh, this was the 7th of October. So I'll go ahead and include the 7th for this technician and hit print. So now when I am opening up this, this is how you would print a pre-print ticket. And this has my instructions basically the service instructions. It also has a legend with a chart on what I'm actually completing and it allows space for the technician and the customer to sign. So that is the pre-print ticket. So the biggest difference if I minimize the view to 100, actually to 75. So you'll notice that this ticket has all of the chemicals on to complete your chart. And when I go to this ticket, it doesn't have any. However, if it was a completed ticket, it has the time and dates, all of the materials used, and if I had signed electronically, it has the signatures. So that is essentially the difference between pre-printing versus printing a final ticket. On the sales and work order list, I also have the opportunity to print one at a time. So for instance, if I was to filter this by route, and from here I can see if it was not completed, it says print order. If it has been completed, the option is to view PDF. So I'll show you the difference. When I view PDF, again, it is the completed ticket. When I go back to this and print the order, so let's see, I'll go ahead and print this one. This has a different look to it. So again, it's a little bit easier when I minimize the view. So this has all of my chemicals, a chart, conditions, and if I had 
instructions, it would print the instructions. The difference between that and the digitally completed work order is that oh, this is the completed one. This is not complete. It has nothing. And this was complete. So you can see that when you are printing out your printed tickets to complete in the field, you will want to use this bulk action box or print one at a time from the sales and work order list.